Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. So excited because we have come to the end of this Pat McGrath collection for holiday 2023. And we are ending with the Sunset Romance, which looks like this. And I did not swatch it. Let me get that done real quick. I don't know how I forgot. Hmm. Interesting. see. I was wondering about that shade, but got it. Alright, Sunset Romance. Pretty much the way it sounds is the way it's going to look in a way. Here you go. Does it look familiar? This is one that I'm like, it is in her line so many times. Please. Why am I a fool? But it's one of those palettes that you just know you're going to use, too. You know what I mean? Like, you know you're going to use it. But are you? Like, I sit there and go, but Emma, how many times? You know, like, I don't know, you all. I'm to the point now where this stuff is just nuts, okay? Let's go into this shade here first. It's like... These shades are in her collection already. Almost every single one. And again, if if you were going with one that you do not have for sure in your collection, it would probably be the bigger palette with the greens in it. But if you have a Christmas collections, they have greens in them. Now, if you don't have any of those, then I would say that one. But as far as these go, I would say after using this all five, all four, there's four of these, right? One, two, three, and four. Correct. I have four. The Lunar Nightshade was my favorite. Yeah, that was my favorite. Did like Bordeaux Bliss. I don't know. The Bronze Ecstasy one, I feel like that's in her line too. Did it create a pretty look? Yes, it did. But do you have that? Yeah, you kind of do. This one here, you definitely have if you have any of her palettes at all you have this one and then the other one from yesterday it's a little different again I was like man this shade here and the shade that's in the yesterday's palette the only difference is, is there's not a, the the one from yesterday has more of a black base to it than this one this one's definitely more pink leaning than red leaning well it's not even red it's just got a black underneath of it really in a way from what I'm seeing alright we're going to go into this shade right here to darken it up I mean I feel like if you've never I'm going to stick with if you've never tried any of her shadows that's where these five pants come in handy or if you wanted to travel with one of her palettes, these five pants could come in easy, handy, I mean. 
especially if there's a color story you adore. But that would be it. For me personally, I've kind of, I don't regret these because I think at $36, they're a good price point, all right? But I definitely know I don't need them. And I should have stuck with the bigger palettes because those are my favorites. Even if it's just because they have the blush in them, you know? Those are my favorite palettes, the two bigger ones. So that is where I should have stuck to. And I feel like had I done that and not have been the fool and bought all these five pans, I would have been okay. I wouldn't have had regrets. You know what I mean? I don't regret purchasing them now that I have them. I mean, I will get use out of them some way. But I could have definitely lived without them. But I did want to purchase them at least to give you my feedback from just a makeup lover on the formulas. Whether they're easy to use, not easy to use type of you know, experience. Plus, you get to see it firsthand, how they applied, how they worked. There's no editing. There's no, you know, if I have, if I struggle, you're seeing me struggle, you know? Now, is it my fault? Maybe. We're going to go back into that first shade, and I'm going to run it under the lower lash line. I mean, there's no denying that the shadows are lovely to work with. They're beautiful color stories on their own. They're beautiful to, co to combine together. But I don't think it was a necessity on my part to get them. Now, will they stay in my collection, these ones? They will. They'll stay because they're Pat McGrath. But it, let's pretend these weren't. No, they would not be staying. Even though I think they're beautiful, and I think the metallics are very metallic, almost foiled, I still, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't keep them. I know I wouldn't. All right, we're going to go into this middle shade right here. And I'm going to start to apply it to the inner portion of the lid. And actually, this shade in particular, well, this palette in particular, actually, even though it is a pretty look, it's not laying on the lid as good as the other ones did, as good as the other metallics. And I don't know why, because I used the same primer. As I've been using, nothing's changed. So I'm not quite sure on what's going on with that one. But just so you know, for whatever the reason, it is not laying nicely on the lid. It You can see every crease and every little line I have on my lid. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but... And again, I'm not spraying it. I'm not putting down anything. So, I'm not getting fallout, which is a good thing, of course. Okay. Now we're going to go into this darker shade, and I'm going to put it in the outer corner. keep that just a little bit darker again all of these palettes are all in one for me also just so you know that there are, I can use this in this alone and create a look we're going to go into that first shade put it on the inner corner uh, the highlights work good with my skin tone like, all these are definitely an all-in-one. 
That's why I'm like, if, if, even if you have her collection, I wouldn't go for this particular one. I'm not going to lie because this color story is in her line so many times. Okay. So this particular one, I wouldn't, but if you were to go for a lunar nightshade or what is this one? Bordeaux bliss even. Even though I feel like this one is kind of in her wheelhouse too. It may be a little different, just a little bit, than her other color stories. If you were wanting just a basic kind of palette, I would suggest Braun Ecstasy. And if you're into pinkies, I would suggest the Sunset Romance. That's how I would do it. So... If you're into the pinkies that she's been releasing lately, this is the one. If you want something completely different, not in her line, this is the one that's different. If you want something that's like a mix, it would be the Bordeaux Bliss. And then if you've never tried anything, I would suggest the Bronze Ecstasy. So, or Sunset Romance, which is the one I'm wearing. But I used Exit as the water, as my waterline color. And then for mascara, we're going to go in with the brown today. I wanted to try one of the looks with the brown in the YSL Lash Clash. Because I've been wearing black mascara, which is nice. And it would be nice with this look. But for an everyday look, I wanted to try the brown to see what the look would look like. Because to me, this is just a basic everyday eye look to me. You know, whether you're going to work or out for drinks or something. Like, it gives a little bit of something, but nothing extreme by no means. And I do think the brown paired nicely with this look. But again, there's nothing wrong with any of these at all. Just so you know. The formula is nice on all of them. And it could have been a me thing as far as this particular shade on my lid today. Or maybe it's just that shade. I don't know exactly. But I will say that that's the only thing I'm not thrilled with. But, you know. And I will say after trying them all, this collection... I'm glad it's done because the first two palettes had me excited the bigger palettes but again mostly because it had blushes in them that are just stunning and then the lunar nightshade one had me just floored The rest of them was just so-so, in my opinion. Not as like so-so quality, just so-so for excitement and different. And you know, but let me know out of all the palettes, what was your favorite one? What look did you like the best? I'm just wondering. And what palettes did you get? And were they worth it to you? I'm curious too. Because I'm wondering how many people actually found these palettes worth it at the end of the day. Because, like I said, I do think the two bigger ones are. But if you took the blush out of them, I don't know exactly how I'd feel about it then.
no, I still think I'd like them. Because I really did like the eye look with the Bejeweled palette. That eye look I thought was stunning. And even though I went the green route with the other palette, if I would have went a different route, I think I would have liked it too. So, I do think I'd like those palettes without having the blushes, but the blushes just make it 10 times better. Of course, the price point is much higher. It's 76 instead of 36 so that is something. But at the same time, you also get, you know, the eyeshadow and blushes. So, if you were traveling, it's like you got two things, and it does have a very nice size mirror in those bigger palettes. So, yeah, no, if you're a Pat McGrath fan, I would say go with the bigger palettes and you're going to be happy. If you're not a Pat McGrath fan, but you have a lot of her collection, you're not missing anything skip it. Seriously, all of it. Skip it all. If you really have to have something from this collection, I would suggest the Lunar Nightshade because it is a little different and you're only spending $36. However, if it's one of the bigger palettes, even though those greens are different, I would still go with the Bejeweled palette myself, personally. And that's where I'm like, I probably, if I was just looking at it like I was, I was going with the greens because it was different. But now that I know what the Bejeweled look came out to look like and the blushes in it, I would prefer the Bejeweled palette over that one. So, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's why I'm like, you know, looking at something, you might think you do want it, but at the end of the day, once you get it home and you use it, it's a completely different story. Completely different. I could have easily skipped out on all of these or just purchased the Lunar Nightshade. But if I was looking at them, I guarantee it, that would not have been the palette I would have chose by itself. That is what it is. I'm not lying there. And I would have been mad at myself once I saw reviews, right? So, if you bought Lunar Nightshade, I think you're going to like it. I think you'll be impressed. And I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you bought the two bigger palettes, if you buy the Bejeweled one, I think that you will like it more. Is it the full? Yeah, or not Bejeweled. Jewel Temptation. That's the one. This one here. If you buy this one, I think you're really going to like it. And though it's not different than anything else in her range, the blushes in this and the palette itself is just, it really is pretty. Now, this one's a little different. And again, I do love the blushes in this one. Do not get me wrong. And I like the look overall. And I think if I go a different route, I'd even like the look better. But with that said, how often are you going to wear green? Take those two greens out and then how, I mean, look at that. It's just a neutral. How often are you going to wear the greens to make it worth it? So this is just my opinion, of course. But at $76, that's not cheap. So I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction. At $36, it's a little cheaper, but it still isn't cheap. You know what I mean? So do beware that if you decide to skip on it, you did really good. I'm proud of you. Seriously, I'm proud of you. If you skipped it, I'm proud of you. Because you got the money in your bank account. Instead of me who's out 200 and some dollars. Now the only other thing I can say about my money and what I spent. I don't regret it. I'm glad I did it. I will use these somehow, some way. But I did get a free highlighter. And now that highlighter, it's banging y'all. I love this highlighter. Golden Moonlight. I adore this highlighter. This is my new favorite highlighter, okay? This one and where is it? The Golden Nectar. 
Okay, these are my two favorite highlighters now. And they're not even that far apart. They're really not. But with that said, I enjoy both of these. So you do get a free highlighter if you purchase more than a hundred and some dollars, I think it was. So maybe, it, I forget what it was. I don't know if you just bought one big palette, one little palette, if that would give you a free highlighter or not. But then again, buy the highlighter by itself. You can do that too. I will say that their cheek products though, I bet that may have been worth it. I'm not going to lie because her blushes are. Her bronzers are amazing. And I am really thinking about, because I believe that one of them has, no, I don't think he, none of them. It has the nude something, and then it has the one that's kind of like shimmery, which it's too dark. The other one's too light. Bronze Dawn is perfect for me, and that's not in one of them. I was going to say, if one of them had the Bronze Dawn, I'd probably get it, because I think I'm going to hit paint on that one, so... But that's all I have for you today. I hope these helped in some way um, steer you in whatever direction you think you want to go in. I hope if you did purchase any of these that you don't have regrets. You're definitely not going to have regrets from the formula. I will say that. You may have regrets from the color story or the repetition or whatever. But the formula itself is pretty good in all of them. Well, it's, it's good. It's great. You know what I mean? It's what you would expect. Um, so I will say that, but if it helped, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all of that. We are notified when I upload, I upload every day, but Sunday, unless there's new or launches, which there will be a video for Sunday. Have no fear. I'm so backed up because of these, but that's okay. That's all right. It's the thorough review. You know, I could have just done one eye, one eye, one eye, one eye, you know, and been done in three days, but it's better to have it and see it and really get a feel for it then to do that you know and then give an opinion that m might change had I used it again you know what I mean so with that said I will let you go I will see you in the next one until then stay safe and stay healthy bye